Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about anaplasia. What is anaplasia? Anaplasia means lack of differentiation of the malignant tumor cells. What do you mean by lack of differentiation? Lack of differentiation means little resemblance to the cells of origin, pleomorphism that means different shape and size, hyperchromatism that means excessive amount of chromatin in the nucleus of a cell, lack of polarity that means the orientation of the cell to the surrounding cells and the supporting cells, the arrangement of the cells that will be lost and increased nuclear cytoplasmic ratio. Normally it should be one is to four, maybe one, one is to five or one is to six, but here it will be, it will go to one is to one. The entire nucleus may occupy the entire cell. So almost look like a lymphocyte, like very large nucleus with the peripheral rim of cytoplasm. So, in instead of one to four or one to six nucleus cytoplasmic ratio, here it will be one is to one or close to one is to one. Abnormal mitosis, too many mitosis will get a lot of mitotic spindle, and there's, those are abnormal, maybe three component of the mitotic spindles, prominent nucleoli and lack of normal function of the anaplastic cells. Usually highly anaplastic malignant tumors are very aggressive. A well differentiated malignant tumor is comparatively less aggressive. So if you look at the Anaplasia, here is the rhabdomyosarcoma, the malignant tumor of the skeletal muscle. What you see, marked variation in cell nuclear size, cells are of different shape and size, hyperchromatic nucleus, we are seeing the darkening, okay, and the presence of tumor giant cell. This is a tumor giant cell, like that. Another one, it is formed by the fusion of the macrophages or monocytes will get tumor giant cell in anaplastic malignant tumor. Okay, we'll get the chromatin, hyperchromatic chromatin nuclei, variation in shape and size of the nucleus. We'll also see the giant cells. Okay, here another image, high, high power detail view of anaplastic tumor cell shows cellular and nuclear variation in size and shape, there is pleomorphism, prominent cell in the central field has abnormal tripolar spindle like that, it shouldn't be tripolar, okay, it should be bipolar spindle, but here we are seeing tri polar spindle and we have abnormal mitotic figures much than usual mitosis in the cell. So we have some note anaplasia is a sign of malignant tumor but not necessarily all the malignant tumor has anaplasia. Some malignant tumor have no anaplasia. Anaplasia may be focal or diffuse. In the Wim's tumor of the kidney, okay, it may be focal anap anaplasia, may be diffuse anaplasia. A benign tumor has well differentiated tumor cell, there is lipoma, has a mature fat cell, and fat cell containing the fat vacuole, and chondroma has mature cartilage cell that will produce the ground substance of the cartilage. A benign tumor has no anaplasia. 
a malignant tumor may have well differentiated cell. So this is not an aplasia. This is this type of malignant tumor have well differentiated cells. That is adenocarcinoma of the thyroid gland and the squamous cell carcinoma of the skin. So anaplastic carcinoma versus well differentiated carcinoma. Not necessarily all the cancer will be anaplastic. As for example, we are seeing this example, adrenal carcinoma. This is a section from the adrenal cortex mostly with marked anaplasia. Okay. Here, well differentiated squamous cell carcinoma of the skin. Tumor cells are strikingly similar or normal squamous epithelium. Okay. These are the epithelial cells with intercellular breezes and nest of keratin and nest of keratin here is the nest of keratin keratin so this is well differentiated squamous cell carcinoma this is anaplasia so it has undifferentiated carcinoma here there is the adrenal carcinoma cells are not similar different shape and size cell okay here cells are more or less homogeneous well differentiated squamous cell carcinoma tumor cells are strikingly similar to normal squamous cell okay we got that in adren adrenal carcinoma with marked anaplasia again we'll see the cell a different shape and size hyperchromatism in certain cell a lot of mitotic figure we'll find out that that is an anaplastic condition. So how can we differentiate anaplasia with that of dysplasia? Anaplasia is seen in some malignant tumors. Dysplasia, a pre-malignant condition seen in some epithelial cell. Suppose in the cervix uterine, in the ectocervix. It may be found in the ulcerative colitis in the in the polyps of the colon okay you'll get dysplastic changes there anaplasia irreversible dysplasia mild to moderate dysplasia is reversible giant sensor found in anaplasia giant sensor formed by the union of the macrophage or monocytes okay no giant cell in dysplasia Anaplastic tumor are very aggressive. Dysplastic growth do not necessarily progress to cancer. In most cases, they don't cross the basement membrane. So we call it carcinoma in situ, but it is not aggressive and it is not necessarily a dysplastic tissue will be converted into a carcinoma or cancer. It may not go to the cancer formation or maybe cancer formation. And that's all about the description of anaplasia and its differences from well differentiated carcinoma. And also, we have learned the differences between anaplasia and dysplasia. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. And please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice and wonderful day. Bye now.